Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownOfLiving.com. Today, I'm going to share with you this awesome dash cam that I got. It's from Thinkware, and it's the Thinkware dash cam. It's the F70. And the thing I love about this is how small and lightweight it is and how unobtrusive it is in my car. Now, I've had dash cams before, and they were nice, but they were huge. And this one, as you can see, based on the size of my hand, it's really small, compact, portable, and I'm super excited to get it installed. So let me just give you a few specs on this. It's 1080p with um, 30 frames per second in terms of video quality. I have a cold, so excuse me. And it, the awesome thing about it, too, is it comes with your micro SD card, which my last webcam did not come with one, and I had to purchase one separately. This is an 8 gig card, and it comes with the card reader. So all you have to do is just pop this out of the dash cam, put it in here, and then use one of your readers to access the videos. And I have one of those, so it'll be really easy. If you don't have one, you can get a SD card reader really cheap. So I wanted to show you real quickly what a card reader looks like just for those that never use them or don't have them. All you do is you pop your SD card into the little reader and then put it into the drive so it can read it correctly. And then once you do that, as you can see, you can open up the drive letter and here are all of your recordings. So like in this folder, this is where the manual recordings are, and I only took one, so that's absolutely correct. So just check them out, like when you do it and pop it into your computer, just check them out. You have a user's guide here as well, and some type of setup. I guess you can set it up as well, the software. So like here's a folder with all the videos that it took in the, you know, three minutes I was in the car driving around. And then all I'm doing is just copying them, pasting them to a folder so I can either keep them, review them. So I wanted to show you your SD card goes right in there and it pops in and out in two seconds. Okay. And I'm super excited about using this because like I said, my last dash cam was huge and it had one of those uh, flip out video screens where you can see um, like the road ahead of you and it's so silly. You don't need that. I find it distracting personally I want my Dash cam to do the work and not distract me and that's one of the reasons I'm super excited To be able to use this thinkware. I don't need a video display screen Showing me the road ahead of me that I already see so if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense so I'm going to get this installed. It looks super easy to do. And I'm going to also show you some of the video quality. And that's what really counts. Let's see how good video quality it takes. And other than that, there's just nothing to it. It's super, super easy. So if you're not, you know, a geeky tech person and things like this confuse you, it's super, super easy. It comes with the car adapter, and all you have to do is just plug this in to the dash cam, plug this into your cigarette lighter, and you're good to go. So let me get this thing installed. I'm gonna show you how easy it is and what it looks like in my car, and then I'm gonna show you some of the video. Okay, so I'm getting ready to install this in my vehicle, and as you can see, it's very small, very lightweight. I really like it. Um, that it's really small and it's not obtrusive in the vehicle. You also get your SD card holder. So when you take the chip out, you just pop it in here and then bring it to your computer to be able to read and see the files, the video files. So I popped in the SD card. It's in there ready to go. I have my car adapter, my clips in case I need them. They give you some clips here. And of course, an extra adhesive for the back of the mount, just in case you ever need that too. Okay, folks, so I just wanted to show you real quickly how super easy it is to install the Thinkware F70. Uh, literally took me five minutes to do. Um, I just tr made sure to line up 
the camera with the center of my mirror and um, you can use tape and make like a template if you want to be a super perfectionist but I have to tell you I didn't need to do that I was able to line it up and it worked out perfectly so I just want to show you how small and unobtrusive it is and how easy it is to install now once you get it installed you can run your wiring um, like up and around your vehicle which is something that we're going to be doing right now and um, there's like a place right underneath um, where your dash your windshield meets like the top of your roof and you can just stick the wiring up in there I did that with my other dash cam and it worked out great so it took me literally five minutes to do and I'm gonna be doing it again but um, I wanted to just again show you how nice and small it is so here's the perspective from like when you're driving and it's not in your line of sight it's not in the way and what I want to do right now is just show you some of the video um, that it takes it does videos in like one minute segments and then you can also use the controls to um, start a manual, manual recording will now start. see so you can prop you can so what you can do is you can just push this button and it starts a manual recording so uh, that's pretty nifty to be able to have that feature as well and like I said before it's got the little SD card super easy to pop in and um, what I'm gonna do is just take a drive around it's a nice sunny day and I'm gonna show you what some of this video looks like okay so we're just driving around I want to just show you the quality of the video and it's a nice finally sunny afternoon and I'm just taking a little tour of a development in my neighborhood just so you could see the video quality. And you'll want to make sure that your vehicle's on, of course, because it does record, once you turn your vehicle on, it'll start recording uh, automatically. And then don't forget, you can push that button and you can start a manual recording. So if you see something that you want to record, all you have to do is just push that button and it will automatically do a manual recording for you. So folks, in closing, I'd like to say that uh, I've been driving around with this dash cam for the past day or two, and I absolutely love it. Um, again, one of the reasons I love it is because it is so small and unobtrusive, and it is big on protection. It does everything that I want it to do, and um, I especially love the wide angle viewing. That's really important. And uh, I love the fact that I can easily access the video files. It also has a parking surveillance mode, which is great. So definitely check out their website. I will put all the links in the description for you to head on over and you can check out all of the specs as well. As I said, it comes with an eight gig micro SD card, which is awesome because my other dash cams required me to go buy one and that was an additional expense. So I'm pretty excited about that. You can check out all the specs, the dimensions. I mean, they really go uh, above in terms of letting you see exactly what you're getting and uh, give you all the best details. And you definitely want a dash cam. If you don't have one, trust me, you'll want one. And in the article, I'm going to be listing all the main reasons why owning a dash cam is super important not only for your safety and your vehicle safety but for your car insurance and other reasons as well one last note you can purchase this on amazon as you can see it has almost a five star rating and i always go by my ratings i always check them out and then i take the time to read what other folks are saying about things before I decide on a product or not, it's always a good way to go. Um, they list it for $89.99, $90 on the Amazon um, website. And I will put all the links again in the description where you can head on over and pick one up yourself. If you could kindly thumbs up this video and subscribe to our channel as well, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm really in the process of trying to grow my YouTube channel 
and I wholeheartedly appreciate every subscriber so please head on over and do that as well and if again if you have any questions just leave them below I'll make sure I do my best to answer them thanks again for watching and have yourself a great and safe day